this video, hiking up the Indian Peak Wilderness to go to one of my favorite high mountain lakes to fish for some cutthroat. Total distance is 10 miles round trip, uh, five miles each way uh, with an additional 0.2 just to get to the trailhead itself. But so far doing pretty well. Started the hike around 5.30. I got to the trailhead around five, got my things together, started out, and immediately when I opened my truck door, I could smell just the pine, which hasn't happened this year so far. And let me tell you, it was very refreshing. Um, no artificial, no artificial pine scent can ever compare to the subtleness that uh, the natural pine scent has, but it really was very comforting to start the hike with. We're uh, about an hour in, it's 6.31 a.m. And on the trailhead, looks like I have done about 2.5 miles. So I've got another 2.5 to go, with the last part being all uphill but hoping to get to the lake around 8 a.m and having a few hours to fish and hiking back down Okay guys, we made it to our destination. The lake is in sight. We got here about 7.44. So a little bit over two hours and a half to, uh, to get to this lake. A little under actually, but uh, I reckon it'll be another 15 minutes till I get to the spot that I wanna go to. Um, I'm gonna set up, relax, set up the rods and get some food in my system. All I've had is a protein shake. So I'll let you guys know when we get to the spot. Jumper. This one took the caddis.
another beautiful cutthroat. They all seem to want the uh, size 14 foam beetle. That's all they're taking right now. It's about midday now. I've caught three cutthroats so far, uh, brought to the net. I've missed a few um, just on the hook set, but it took a while to figure out what they were eating. I ended up putting on a size 16 foam beetle and then behind it um, a size 18 elk, elk hair caddis. So we're gonna stop and eat some lunch and then got about another hour or so and we're gonna start heading down the trail. this one Biggest cutthroat of the day. cast end up with another beautiful cutthroat. I'm just gonna start heading back down the trail. Took me about two hours and 30 minutes to get up here, most of it being uphill. And so going back down, I'm interested to see how much time I shave off. I'm assuming about 30 minutes. It's 104. So I think I'll be back down to the trail head at around three o'clock. Had a lot of fun fishing this lake. Oh, I dreamt about all winter. And overall, Hooked about seven cutthroat, brought five to the net. Just didn't really get a get a good hook set on the other two, but still had a lot of fun. All on dry flies, most of them taking the size 16 parachute foam beetle. Looks like that's gonna be my new go-to backcountry fly. All the park in Rocky Mountain National Park, that's basically all the brook trout we're eating in here. These cutthroat were super aggressive and for some reason really like that parachute beetle. I really like tying them parachute style because it helps it stand up in the water better. I, I don't know how many times I've casted just a regular rubber legged foam beetle and it'll land upside down with the indicator uh, in the water. 
but otherwise I'm gonna start heading back down let's see how much time I shave off I wish it was this sunny. We were fishing. We first came up around 8 a.m. Sun didn't come out until almost 11. So it was really the last hour that I was fishing that I really did have good chances to sight fish to those cruising cutthroat. It was really fun getting them all on dry flies. But it's the back country of Colorado, so the weather's really unpredictable. So I'm really just glad that I got some sunshine anyways, because for a minute there, it was really dark and gloomy. It didn't look like the sun was ever gonna come out. 